Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek from Derek's Horror Stuff, and today I'm here with another unboxing video for you. On this video, we're gonna be talking about the Dr. Satan mask from Bump in the Night Studios. This mask was released in 2003 and has become a very hard to find mask. Now, before I get into the video, I do have to just let you guys know I did make a Patreon account. Click the link in the description below to find out more about that. Become a patron today to see your name featured in all my latest videos, as well as behind the scenes shots and exclusive content that you're not gonna see anywhere else. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so here we have the House of 1000 Corpses Bump in the Night Dr. Satan Mask. Now, there are a couple other Dr. Satan masks out there. Uh, the main one that comes to mind is the Trick or Treat Studios version which uh, I'll show you here, but the quality on this one is far superior to the Trick or Treat Studios mask. So let's get a closer look so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see the wrinkles in the forehead, the wrinkles in the eyes. Look at the depth that they add with the paint. It includes this, uh, this actual mask, uh, which has a cord as well, which would plug into the uh, oxygen tank, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, I will say my one gripe about this mask is it is rather small uh, and I have a big head. So for somebody like me, I can't wear it. I've never even been able to try it on. My wife was able to try it on uh, and it looked cool, but you know, again, it's kind of a bummer that I can't Seeing this, this is probably my favorite mask that I own. So let's move it a little closer into the light here. And I'll try to spin it here on the stand to get you a better idea. It has a lot of hair. Um, and again, this is an older release mask. It came out quite some time ago. They're not that easy to find anymore. I found this in a group of three I will link the other videos that I have for my um, my Bump in the Night masks as well. The collar is really cool. See, if you look at the detail in that, it's really neat. It goes all the way around. Um, and then I'll show you too, if you take off this mask here, it is removable. And uh, you get an idea of the face as well. Now this is this is probably as accurate as you can get, honestly, uh, especially for a mask. Now I saw Walter Fellin, who plays Doctor Satan, live in person uh, on stage, get dressed up as Doctor Satan uh, right in front of everybody, which was really cool. And I will I have a video of that. I'll put it in the description as well if you guys want to check it out. It's a little long, but it is worth skipping through to check it out. And honestly, like this looks like the face paint that they did, like the, the prosthetics and the makeup that they did. Let me go ahead and put that back down on a mirror. But yeah, I'd say this has gotta be uh, my favorite mask that I own. It's really, really cool. If you guys could get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, it is really small. So if you're planning to wear it and you have a big head like I do, it's not gonna work. But aside from that, if you have a smaller head, then you'll be okay. And the last thing I wanted to show you is kind of a bonus in this video, because uh, I'm not sure if I've talked about it before, is another one of my favorite pieces, which is, I don't know, this NECA figure signed by Dr. Satan himself. I got this signed in person at uh, the same place that I saw him get his makeup done. So I think it was Creature Feature Weekend, if I'm not mistaken. And again, I'll have that video in the description so you guys can check it out. But it is really, really cool. This is a really cool figure. If you guys ever get a chance to uh, get your hands on one of them, again, harder to find because they're out of production. But if you get a chance to get your hands on one, I would, especially if it's for a good price. I've seen some come up recently on the market for uh, as low as like 80 bucks, I'd say. Is, is If you can get it for 80 bucks, that's a really, really good deal, especially in good condition. Now this one, I don't know if you could tell based on the light because from my camera, it looks pretty good. 
but it's starting to yellow and it was a very clear box when I first got it. I haven't had it in the sunlight. Um, I've had it actually to the side away from everything. And uh, most of the time it's actually been in my Ikea uh, Detolf cabinet. So it's been surrounded by glass and it's still yellowing. So let me know in the comments if any of you guys have any ideas about how to stop that from happening. I know it's something that happens naturally with age, especially in the plastic that they use on these particular figures. Um, but please let me know if you have any suggestions because I don't want to ruin it. So anyway, guys, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you liked this little sneak peek at the mask here. If you do find one, I would grab it. It's a great piece. Same with the NECA figure. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to keep up with additional content you're not going to find anywhere else. And click that link below to check out my Patreon account. Become a patron and get a lot of cool features. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.